Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. I made my way out to Louisville, Kentucky to check out the Ohio Valley Military Society's Show of Shows, a large show with a collection of military and firearms. I had really only heard about this show recently, but I had seen enough recommendations by collectors and heard that it was one of the best shows for military surplus enthusiasts, perhaps rivaling the nation's largest gun show in Tulsa. The real question, is it worth it? The show lasts several days and is open to Ohio Valley Military Society members on Thursday and then the general public on Friday and Saturday. It is also open on Sunday, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let me tell you the story of my visit. I arrived on Saturday morning right before open. There was a long line, people standing there with their own firearms for sale. I got in line to get my ticket and then filed into the space at the Expo Center, and it was a good show. It was large, a lot of historic firearms, black powder and Civil War area especially, lots of unique historic pieces, and I was thinking, you know, it's not quite what I thought this would be, but it was still a good show and had a very different selection from what I find locally. I made my way through all the aisles, purchasing some items here and there, and it wasn't until several hours into it that I realized I made a mistake. I thought I was done with the show, but the person I was with was trying to meet up with someone else attending, and we could not figure out where they were, which led to a realization. So, turns out, same day, same expo center, there is a National Gun Day gun show and the show of shows. So I had spent the entire morning at the gun show, which was still good, but was not the show of shows, the purpose behind my trip. And I used up most of my video at the gun show, battery was dead. So obviously a little delay getting there, but I get to the show of shows. And it's bigger than the gun show. Wall-to-wall military and firearms. Museum quality items for sale. Some booths were just informational for historic purposes, but most of it is for sale. There is a heavy focus on the Second World War, but there are plenty of items from earlier conflicts as well. It's hard to, to overestimate or overemphasize how much stuff and high quality stuff was there. There were, you know, tables full of bayonets, and then you look underneath, and there were totes with more bayonets in them. Then we're on the table. It was massive. Ribbons and medals all over. Helmets, firearms, books, uniforms, original photos. Just all manner of items. Talking about the prices, I think a lot of your higher dollar items like firearms were a little on the high side. But that is also understandable because a lot of these were minty. I mean collector or investment grade. And that being said... There were still some decent deals here and there and other shooter grade firearms you could pick up. Also, it's hard for me to gauge completely on if there were any really good deals arriving Saturday afternoon, several days into the show. I'm sure the best deals were probably already snapped up. You do get a lot of value on these smaller dollar items though, where online prices can't match up once you calculate shipping and tax. Admission was $10, parking was $10, Oddly, the gun show was actually more expensive with a $15 entry. And I only have one real complaint. Sunday is listed as an exhibitor move-out day, where they have to be completely out by 5 p.m., but they will still admit people until noon. And that's all fine, but on Saturday, the show closed at 3, but a lot of people started packing up maybe between 2 and 2.30. The gun show closed at 5, and in my confusion, I was thinking they both closed at 5. And when I realized they were packing up, I started walking faster to try and see everything. But by the time I got to maybe the last five long aisles, most tables were empty or they were so busy packing up, they didn't really seem interested in selling. They were in full-on get-out-of-here mode, and were clearly not going to have a presence at all on Sunday. So I would say Sunday isn't worth attending if you're there just for that day anyways. In retrospect, it is kind of surprising that they didn't have any signs pointing out, oh, gun show this way, show of shows that way. 
or even when you're buying the ticket, mention, oh, if you're interested in this show, maybe you want to check out this other one going on today. Still, the fault clearly lies with me and my own error, but the gun show is still pretty good too. Overall, I would say the show of shows is definitely worth attending, especially if you aren't just a shooter but really appreciate the historical aspect of firearms or military history in general. It's like going to a really, really good firearms museum, but with some exceptions, you can pick up and handle the historic pieces. And like I said, it's not just firearms. There's all types of interesting militaria. It's really quite something, and apparently the gun show taking place at the same time and location is an annual thing, so it would be worth going to both, but, you know, just to make sure which side of the expo center you're going to, and go to the show of shows first, since it ends first. I'm sure I'll make the trip back out there again someday and get through the entire show floor. I would plan to show up on Friday or maybe even join the Ohio Society, which is like $30, to get in on Thursday. Though on Saturday I did get to meet Othias and May from C and Arsenal, so that was cool. And that's all for today. Have you ever been out to the show of shows? Did you think it was worth it? Do you think you'll head out there at some point? I really do think if you like this channel, it would be worth checking out. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here to get more content. Thanks for watching.